Working from the reference photos provided to us by the pastor of St. Clement Church here in Ottawa, we are trying to work on a statue of St. Philomena, which unfortunately did not travel very well overseas from Italy. Our task then is to take these 75 or 85 pieces, some of them actually quite small as you can see, and to put them back together back into their original state. One of the challenges for us is to ensure that piece by piece, meticulously matched and glued originally, then what we will do is once this hardens, you can see each of the connection lines, we'll have a new layer of plaster put on the inside for strength. It's important to get the pieces to fit quite precisely. As you can see, there are three or four pieces already together here. It's important to get them to match precisely because even a small angle of an incorrect connection, by the time it gets around to the far side of the statue, the pieces will be quite off skew. Inside the base, plaster cloth reinforces the weak corners. Liquid epoxy holds a dozen pieces strongly together to support the full weight of the statue. And then we've added new layers of plaster, which make the, the project a little bit heavier, but add quite a bit of strength to the base, which is extremely important when we put all of the rest of the material together. This is again three or four pieces already put together, backed up by plaster, and then we start to make sure the pieces all fit, and we begin the process of reassembly before we get to the actual patching, replastering, and painting of the final product. We continue the process of putting many, many small pieces back into their place, uh, securing it on the inside with a two-part mixed epoxy, and then covering it with hydrocal plaster from the inside. As you can see, many of the segments are now being put back together, getting them ready for the final touches, but our primary concern right now is to strengthen the structure enough so that it will be able to stand permanently and securely back on the base when we get to that stage. The base is rebuilt. So we start securing the statue segment by segment. First, the main body with its internal plastering fully cured and inspection of all the joints from the inside. Next, the chest is reattached with the wrists, but the hands still to come. And then her head. And with dozens of repaired breaks from the base, the feet, her gown, shoulders, elbow, even her neck, the statue moves into daylight where it is painstakingly repainted from head to toe. The crumbled hands reconstructed with sculpted fingers and wrists, the detailed painting process continues. Final touches make her beautiful again, and the original St. Philomena from Italy goes from before to after and is ready to return to St. Clement Church.